DVD videos here you can the same name the DVD add the same options here and uh, when you click new you will have you will be redirected to the same uh, interface but the name the name uh, um, but here you will you, you will find two folders which represents the DVD files the default DVD files and even you can change the name by one click on it by the left uh, mouse button and change it to ASEAN Cup for example I have this already uh, on my hard disk the files of this uh, DVD movie so I will go there to that uh, file and I will show you how to drag and drop those uh, video files here is the ASEAN Cup this is the DVD folder this is the DVD files DVD video files I can drag and drop here into this area and you will see the DVD files already stored here and you see the length the size of this of DVD files less than the 4.5 gigabyte which is uh, perfect and I will click burn to burn this DVD on this blank DVD for CD we have more options here for the data it's the same but the, the media is different for, all com com for creating audio CD the audio CD tab contains some informations like normalize all audio files if we add mp3 files into this uh, compilation we, ha uh, we can click normalize all audio files to make all the tracks volumes at the same level okay in case if you're uh, taking those mp3s from an original CD so better not to uh, normalize our audio files because sometimes it make uh, some distortion to the audio tracks click on no pause between tracks if you want to apply it the CD title and the artist name copyrights if you want to uh, add some additional information here comments so we click in you from here and we can add the mp3 files for example we have it in this file so we take for example those mp3 files and drag them and drop them into this location it will be checked one by one as you can see here till it get imported into this interface now I have all the mp3 files here the duration of each file but here I have one problem which it exceeds the 80 minute time of the audio CD as you know normally the audio CD uh, we measure it by time not by or file size so uh, it means we have to erase some of those files to be in order to make it um, writable so if, if I delete this one, select and delete this red line will be reduced I'll select another one and delete now it's ok we can record and burn those mp3 files as a audio file each one will be recorded as an audio file into the CD okay and after burning those files you will have uh, a CD called audio CD and normally when you try to copy those files again into the hard disk from the CD you will not be able to copy it and paste it normally because there will be like um, a, di a different format so you have to re-encode them again by using some of some tools like Windows Media Player you can encode them again as mp3 or WMA which is Windows Media Audio file and by clicking burn we will burn them as audio CD
the video CD tab here um, we can enable the menu where we can add like uh, menus and thumbnails with names so when we click on one of the thumbnail it will guide us to a specific location um, during the movie you can add here like um, some logic uh, buttons and options which you can edit easily by yourself and here the name is of the DVD uh, of the um, video CD and the same uh, options here and when we once we click on this button we will be redirected to this uh, video interface where we can add some other video files other video files like for example here this two video files for the Christmas party and other file I can drag them here it will be checked both are MPEG files we can add AVI, Windows Media Video different types supported by this uh, Nero burning room as you can see it will be checked both of them for any errors and for, to, for matching uh, the correct uh, stream of this video and here you can see the size it's much less than the total empty size of the disk so we can burn them from here as a video CD so this is how we deal with burning different type of files and folders and uh, how to implement the, this uh, process by different methods thank you